Last chance. Last chance. I can't look. Can't look. Can't look. Hey, what is going on guys? This is DJP3Games, and welcome to episode number two of my Pokemon Crystal Randomized Nuzlocke. Before we get started, make sure you guys hit that like button down below. If you guys are new here, my name is Jordan. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Show it some love. If you guys missed episode one, make sure you check out the link down in the description below as we chose our starter Pokemon. We're going to go ahead and do a quick team recap here real quick. So, our starter Pokemon was indeed Weezing. Weezing won the votes across all platforms. So, we nicknamed our Weezing Pudge currently level 7, has a Poison Gas, Tackle, Smog, and Self-Destruct ability. Our next Pokemon is Katrina, the Weedle, which we caught in last episode. Um, I wasn't too thrilled about it, but, you know, if we get if we get a B-Drill, I think we'll be alright. We're going to try to do some Switch training in today's episode. So, Weedle has the moves Poison Sting and String Shot, and last but not least is Godzilla, our Pupitar. Easily my favorite Pokemon on the team right now, with the moves Bite, Leer, Sandstorm, and Screech. So we are going to start off with getting a, another encounter. Over here in, I believe it's Route 30? Yes, it is Route 30. So we're going to see what we can get here. It's a Dawn fan. Not bad, not bad. I can definitely settle for a Dawn fan. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit it with a Screech. It's gonna hit us with the Growl, so that's just gonna be negative on us. And we missed the Screech anyway, so we're just gonna go ahead and go for a Bite. Try to weaken this thing down. We got the Crit. Oh, that was a Crit. Um, let's go ahead and switch out to Pudge. As you guys notice, Pudge has the self-destruct ability, or not ability, the self-destruct move. But I don't I don't want to use that if I don't have to. So we're gonna go ahead and hit it with a smog. See how much that does. Don't want to poison it. And we get the poison anyways. Alright, um, what do we want to go for here? I feel like... No, I'm just going to go ahead and throw a Pokeball. We got 11 Pokeballs, we got plenty of chances. We're going to get at least two encounters in this episode. We're going to be doing some trainer battles. We're going to try to get to Violet City by the end of this episode. Oh, that was close. Hopefully we should get it all in this next turn. I, ho I hope you guys are having a good Wednesday. Um, make sure you guys go check the last episode out and look at the intro. Let me know how you guys like that intro. Um, I want to start doing stuff like that, leaving like cliffhangers at the beginning episodes uh, because I see so many other YouTubers do it uh, and I think it's a really nice feature. So let, let me know what you guys think about that in the comment down below. And also, if you guys want to have a Pokemon named after you, make sure you leave a comment down below with nickname suggestions. It is definitely appreciated because I am terrible at nicknaming Pokemon. Alright, we got like two more chances to get this Dawn fan. We had a Dawn fan in our Fire Red Nuzlocke. Oh, come on. There we got we got one more shot here. This is this is the last shot. Gotta give it her all. Come on, come on. One, two, three. All right, we got it. Very nice. And we will be naming this Don Fan Jumbo because that is what we named our Don Fan in Fire Red. So it's only necessary that we nickname it Jumbo. All right. And we'll go ahead and add Jumbo to the layout. Well, let's check him out real quick, see what he's holding. Smoke Ball, very nice. That could come in handy. 
we are going to use a berry on him real quick just so we can make sure we get to the Pokemon Center because I don't want him dying. But we, we have four Pokemon on the team, so we are in good shape. Very good shape. This is how you like to start out. Got nice, uh, nice diversity. Got the, I don't want to, I'm in the Pokemart. I can't heal him here. That, that would be something to just lose a Monta Poison um, due to walking to the Pokemon Center. Even after I healed, I'd be like, wow, that is embarrassing. Alright, let's get on going. We, let's, I'm gonna put Katrina, and I'm gonna leave Godzilla out front, because Godzilla's only level 2, and we're gonna kinda do some switch training, and try to get everyone, we get to everyone to level 7. If I find it difficult to do the switch training in the episode, I will do a grinding montage for you guys, and I will put that at the beginning of the episode. It wouldn't obviously be for this episode, but going forward into episode 3, that would be a thing. Got some awesome music picked out for it already. I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked. And I know episode one, we could have got a quillfish. Episode one has already broke 50 views, so that's awesome. And I want to say episode two is at 35. So I am very happy. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this content. I'm glad you guys come to watch it. It, I really appreciate it so much. I hope this quillfish doesn't have water gun. So. So let's go ahead and switch out just to be safe. Because I, I, I don't want to deal with losing them on in the beginning. I'm not ready to add any deaths yet. I think it may just have Poison Sting. Just going to hit it with that Tackle. It's also got Tackle. And we missed. Bruh. Leaving the 1 HP. Come on. So, like, see, you get some experience. Let's get. Oh, Godzilla does not grow to level 3 yet. This boy needs some experience. Alright, let's go get our first trainer battle right here. Let's go. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on. Bruh. You saying look weak. I am weak. I'm gonna stop him out. Bring it! Alright. Swimmer Pa. It's not a star you. That. <laughs> These water Pokemon are gonna cause me some problems. Especially because I have a rock type and a ground type. So, with water being the most prominent type in the game, it's not good. Not good on my end. Hope you guys like this shirt that I'm wearing. Pointing at the wrong side of it. Here's the logo over here. It's Issues. Awesome band. If you guys haven't checked them out, make sure you go check them out. One of my favorites. I've seen them in concert. Oh, a six, seven times maybe? Go to Vans Warped Tour every summer. I have for the past five or six years. And it's pretty upsetting that this summer is going to be the last summer for it. If you guys like that kind of music, let me know down in the comments below um, if you guys have ever been to Warp Tour, uh, what your favorite band is. I definitely want to know what kind of music you guys listen to. I listen to a lot of pop punk, um, and then as well as rap, country, hip-hop. I listen to a little bit of everything, if we're being honest here. Alright, Godzilla grows to level 3. Alright. Let's get Weedle some experience. Let's get Katrina... Let's get Katrina to turn into a Kakuna. Let's keep on moving here. So we are still in Route 30. I believe Route 31 is right up ahead, so we should be able to get another encounter. I want to say we only have like six or seven Pokeballs though. So hopefully it's nothing too insane. Swimmer Daniel. So I guess all the youngsters are swimmers. There's another freaking water type Pokemon. But we should be alright. Ah, uh, that's not good. Parish Song is not okay. We got the poison, though. That is what I am talking about. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and switch out, because I am not taking... I'm not losing a Pokemon to a Parish Song. You, you can take yourself out. Hypnosis doesn't affect this. We ain't sleeping. 
I'm not gonna lie, one of these episodes I'm probably gonna misclick and use self-destruct, and I'm just gonna throw my controller through the wall. Alright, we should be good. We do outspeed so it can't get us with the Paris song. We're gonna take it out anyways. Crisis avoided. Katrina grows to level 4. We got a dope duo. So we're, we're just gonna go ahead and... We'll switch out and then we're gonna switch into Pupitar. So we have the type advantage here. Also, you guys, be sure to be on the lookout. On Thursday or Friday, we'll have week three of the PBL going up. The draft battle league that I am in. Will we finally pick up our very first win in week three? And then, next week, we're going up against my very good friend, Cryptic Flash. Uh, we're both the newest people in the league. It's both our first leagues. And also, be on the lookout in the future because there will be a co-op between us. That's all I'm saying. I'm not giving away any details, but that, that's that. You guys get to know that much. All right, we're gonna take out this do duo here. And also, if you guys follow me over on Twitter at djp3games, um, I put out a tweet. I went to league last night for the very first time. Went three and zero with a Alola Nine Tails GX and Metagross GX deck. Um, basically, I just used Geotech, a system on Metagross GX, to get Steel Energy onto Alola Nine Tails, and then use Blizzard Edge to discard those energy and then get them back on, just turn after turn. And it proved to be uh, a pretty good, a pretty good um, combination. So I, I was pretty happy with it. It was my first time at League. I had an awesome experience. Um, and then also, if you saw me post on Twitter as well, I did make Twitch affiliate. So we have that going for us now. Definitely make sure you guys go follow me on Twitch if you guys are not already. Uh, capture card is on the way in the mail. So we're going to be not only just doing like Ultra Sun playthroughs because I need to finish the game, but once we get far enough, we are going to be... Ooh. Okay, that doesn't do too much. We're going to be doing some shiny hunting. And that's something I have been looking for because I have never... I don't even think I've ever encountered a shiny, if we're being honest, unless I've accidentally come through it and just didn't realize it, which could very well be possible. Alright, let's go ahead and hit it with the small here. We missed. Come on, man. Let me hit with that growl. We're gonna go for the smog again. We missed twice! Alright, third time's a charm. You know what it is. Alright, so we got a growl. Go ahead and use Tackle. Let me know how you guys are liking the no speed up button thing. Just because I know with Game Boy games, Game Boy Color games specifically, you use the speed up button and you just fly across the, the screen and it's just like you can't control it. I'm going to go ahead and use a potion here just to be on the safe side. But yeah, I don't mind not using the speed up button because then it gets me to actually sit here and enjoy the content, enjoy this game, which Crystal is probably one of my very favorite games. Um, and it's kind of hard to pick a favorite Pokemon game in general. Uh, I've enjoyed all of them, even the newer games. At first I was kind of skeptical, um, but I remember buying X and Y and I was like, oh, I was like, it's on 3DS, it's Mega Evolutions, I don't know, this is pretty crazy. I don't know how I'm going to enjoy this. And then, I, I loved it. Like, it's awesome. I'm just, I need to play through X and Y again. Alright, Katrina grows level 5. Ooh, oh, we, did, we didn't get the level 8. That's, that's, that kind of sucks. Alright, like I said, we we're going to try to get... I don't think you battled me. You're not a trainer. I'm going to lock eyes with you, though, girl. You'll battle me. 
Instead of a Pokemon, I found a trainer. Yay! Ooh. Ghost Rider Dudley. Can you imagine how much? Oh my God, he's got a Typhlosion! Boy, calm down. You know how much cooler it would be if his trainer name was Ghost Rider instead of Ghost Writer? Alright, we are, uh, we're definitely gonna get, get this switch out here. Let's, let's go up to, uh, like, we we'll get Jumbo some action. We got the ground typing, it's gonna... Probably, it this shouldn't have Ember, it should just have Tackle and Leer. Or maybe Scratch and Leer. No, Tackle and Leer. So it does four points of damage. Oh, we, we do a decent amount. This Typhlosion's gonna be some good experience, though. I don't think we're gonna... Yeah, we do kill on that attack. Good deal. 66. Katrina's at level 6. Kakuna is coming soon. Oh, and Jumbo gets to level 4. And a half. What else you got for me? A Voltorb. We will switch out to Katrina. And then back out to Jumbo. I... Really hope... It should just have Tackle and probably, like... Paralyze? No... Uh, Thunder Wave. I about said Paralyze Heal, but no, we'll, we'll play safe and go with the Pudge. Just in case, for some reason, this Voltorb has Sonic here. Because it would just be broken. And I'd probably cry a little bit. Self-Destruct just needs to stay... Like, as soon as we are learning a new move, we're getting rid of Self-Destruct. But it might also be a good idea to keep it, just in case we absolutely get in a situation where I'm like... I have no idea how to take out this mod. We're sacrificing Pudge off. We get the crit though. Pudge is gonna go to level eight. All right, Katrina did not evolve. It's all right. We're gonna go on up here. And we are in Route 31, so we can get a new encounter. What is our new encounter gonna be? Fresh. I'm I'm definitely happy with an Ammonite. Let me uh let me go out the pudge here. I'm not gonna use poison gas on it this time. I hope we can catch it. Uh, for real though. And then we can also get a dark cave encounter too. But I might save that for next episode because I do need to get Oh my gosh. This is gonna take forever. I, I'm about to use the uh, the smog on it just to get the poison to weaken it down. Otherwise, we'll be sitting here for days. But we're gonna get to Violet City, and we'll probably start off next episode with a dark cave encounter. Just because I need to go buy more Pokeballs, and then we can also get an encounter in the Sprout Tower as well. So we'll, we'll get two encounters next episode. We'll get two encounters this episode. It's encounter City, baby. There we go, we got the poison. It's what we needed. It's just, it's just using withdrawal. I don't think it has anything else. I don't know if it's used another move or not. Okay, it's got Constrict. Ammonite would be powered though. If we get an Amistar, it'd be pretty sweet. Let me use one tackle and then I'm gonna start throwing Pokeballs after this turn. So then I think we'll have like three chances to catch it before poison takes it out. Realistically, they need to make a move, um, I don't know, like, there, there probably is a move, but there needs to be a move that specifically, like, heals poison from your opponent. Because that would be so helpful in those luck. Uh, this might be our last chance, unless we get one more after this, but it's in the red, so I, I'm feeling good about it. One, two, oh, come on. Alright, do not die on this turn. Do not die, do not die, do not die. <sighs> Last chance. Last chance, I can't look. Can't look. Can't look. Yes, we got it! I heard the sound, that's awesome. Lord Helix, we welcome you. 
Can we fit Lord Helix? Will it fit? Yes, it will. Lord Helix. Oh, that is beautiful. And nominate to the squad. You're gonna have to heal it as well. Before, and then try to get to the Pokemon Center. So let's look at Lord Helix here. Just has Constrict and Withdraw. Uh, I want to say I do have an Antidote. I'm going to go ahead and use that Antidote here. Uh, let's, let's get Katrina to evolve into a Kakuna. No, you don't battle me. We're going to save Dark Cave for the next episode. Let's get into... Oh, we found a Dragon Scale. That's, that's pretty good. And go over here. I think there's like two trainer battles. Maybe just one more. We got a bitter berry here. So we're gonna battle this chick. And then we're gonna grab this item and then go into Violet City and heal up. Alright, you got several Pokemon. Ooh, a mischievous. I see you. I wonder. I wonder what this mischievous has. Poison Sting does affect it. It's just not very effective. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out to Godzilla because Godzilla does have Bite and that should be super effective. Ooh, it's got Psy Wave. Alright, we should be alright. It's just level 2, so it shouldn't be doing too much. One more Bite will take it out. Hopefully this Psy Wave does not get a super high roll and just wreck us. Alright, it's only doing two each time, so that's good. We're safe. Alright. Godzilla's still not going to level five. A Schmeardle. Schmeardle, Schmeardle. And it should realistically just know Sketch. We're just gonna hit it with the Poison Sting. We get the Poison. That's what I'm talking about. It's gonna use Sketch, it's gonna learn Poison Sting. It's gonna get hurt by the poison, and it's gonna try to Poison Sting us. So we should be able to take this out and should get to level seven. So we're gonna have a Kakuna. A Kakuna. A Kakuna! On our team. All right, one more Poison Sting here. There we go. 45 XP. Ooh, not quite. Not quite. It's gonna use a Fero. Uh, we're gonna stay in and then switch out. Just because I'm sure this Fero has Peck. So we're gonna go ahead and go out to Pudge here to take out this Fero. tackle. Almost a one-hit KO. Go one more tackle. And this should get Katrina to level 7. Very nice. Alright, and then the only thing left is an Arbok. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and take it out with Pudge. Arbok has a sweet sprite. Not gonna lie. One more tackle will do the job and get us past this trainer. Alright, good deal, good deal. Alright, and Katrina is evolving. Very, very nice. And voila, we has a Kokuna. And Kakuna learns Harden. So let's grab this item here. Ooh, a Hyper Potion. That's pretty useless right now. Um, I honestly might sell it. So we're going to go on up through here. Go right on through into Violet City. And let's heal up our Pokemon with Nurse Joy.
All right, so that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Next episode, we're going to go get an encounter in the Dark Cave and go take on the Sprout Tower. So if you guys haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button to become part of the Steel Force and hit that like button, show it some love. As always, this is the JP3 Games, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace!